Hello all and welcome to another Final 250 episode and we are going to the Birmingham Gaming Market today. Yes, it's the morning of the market. Got early access, hoping to get in there and add to the full Xbox 360 PAL set. Collection currently standing at 961, so hoping to make a little chip away at that and get ever closer to the 1000 game mark. So optimistic, obviously going to game market or picking some games up. Hoping to pick some of the more pricier slash mid-tier titles up that I am still missing. So we're only a stone's throw away from the market now, so let's get in there and hunt for some Xbox 360 games. So home now after what was just an awesome day at the Birmingham Game Market. Met up with friends, fellow YouTubers, met other fellow YouTubers, some for the very first time. Everybody was so pleasant and so awesome. It was rammed in there as well, by the way. It's really, really packed. Even with early access, it got packed pretty full, even before the general admission entry. It was just absolutely rammed. Certainly busier 
than last time. So I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who made the day awesome. As I say, everyone I met was just an absolute pleasure to meet and talk with either for the first time or again. So obviously I went with Big Game Al. He took us up there. So again, big thanks to Big Game Al for taking us there. And also big congratulations on the 1,000 subs as well, by the way, Al. Very well deserved. We obviously met up with the Retro Bear when we got there and Mrs. Bear as well. And that's where I'll give a, a quick plug to, to Mrs. Bear, Retro Repair Bear because she does fantastic refurbs and all that sort of stuff. So if you're interested in or you need something refurbed, then please do contact her. Everything's there. And she also does this awesome thing at the moment where she's uh, fitting Bluetooth devices to sort of old school boom boxes. And then obviously you can play your music through Bluetooth through the boom box. And it sounds absolutely fantastic. So I'll leave those there just for a second while I mention everybody else I met, because I also met uh, the Ink Northerner. We met up with him when we got there as well. And once at the event, we met Jimmy Retro. He was stalling, spoke with Eddie again, Roller X Core, who has had help from Dylan, Hyper Trigger X. Met and spoke to Callum at the Retro Ghetto for the very first time and spoke to Gemma, the Gebs24, for the very first time as well. James, Retro Import Gamer, was there again, as he was at the last one. Uh, Craig's here again was there. Daz Cajonas Deloro, uh, Tutu UK was stalling, and as was Danestra of Hidden Chess Gaming. So there's a lot of people there that I met, and I said everyone was just a pleasure to talk to, ever so kind, and just it was an awesome day out. But anyway, you are here for the pickups. Oh, by the way, anyone that's got an active channel, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll drop a link in the description below, so please do check them out. You may find a new channel for you to watch. But we'll crack on with the pickups and ticking more off the final 250 because. We got nine games, bringing us up to a nice round, 970 games in the collection. So that 1,000 games is really creeping up. Now, I normally do these in ascending price order, but I'm going to kind of do them as I pick them up. And uh, we'll start with that then. Uh, and by saying that then, we'll start with that, which is Final Fantasy XI Online. It's the very first all I went to, box of 360 games, smack bang in the middle of the counter. Uh, saw this there and got me list out on my phone, which came in... Well, came in very handy that day. It was very, very valuable. So, yeah, got my list out of my phone. It's one of the ones that I was missing. I find it hard to remember which one of the Final Fantasy I'm missing. Yes, you can't actually play this anymore, but it's very much part of the set. So, for £5 and the condition it was in, I must admit, I have no idea on this, this one's true value. Because some of these ones can be really tricky to track down. Seekers of Adeline, I'm looking at you. And can be worth quite a bit of money. But this one was in absolutely fantastic condition. Everything was in it. So, it was the only one the, set, the seller had that I needed. So, for a fiver, I thought, do you know what? I'll grab that off him. We'll tick another one off the final 250. Right, next up, I was at the doorway to Dortmund store and I left with three games from them. Now, I do have this as part of the bundle pack, but I don't have the singular copy and I want a singular copy of every game available. That's how, I, how I'm how i doing my full set. And I had Trouble in Paradise, but I didn't have Viva Pinata, just Viva Pinata on its own. So, Got my list out just to make sure, just to make sure, because I knew I had AV in my house, but yeah, it was Trouble in Paradise. So I saw that there for three quid, which is around about the right price, uh, same price as CX or maybe 50p more. But, you know, I can see the condition. This is fantastic condition. Manual's in there. I, good, good thing about transparency on the side of 360 games is you can spy the manual through the sides there. I can see it's there. It also says complete on there. So I was very happy to pay three pounds for that. And then I also picked up this. Again, had to get the list out. Valuable list on my phone harry potter and the deathly hallows part two because i knew i had a deathly hallows couldn't remember if it's part one or part two turns out i've got part one so when i saw part two for eight pounds which is a good price for this game so it's you know in, in its region and again complete i thought you know what i'll grab that as well so those two games these two games here come to 11 pound a little bit of story here so that was it. I thought, I said, yeah, mate, I'll take those two. I gave him my money. He walked off to get me change. He came back. And as he came back, I looked down and I went, hang on a minute. They've got one of the Star Wars Unleashed games sat right there. And it's this one here, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. And I was like, I know I need one of them. Can't remember which one. That valuable list on my phone came out again. Turns out I have the second one. And this is the first one. And it's the Ultimate Sith Edition as well. And it's priced up at £5. And I'm pretty much, that's 
I'm pretty much sure that's what the standard version goes for. And that is a very good price then for the Ultimate Sith Edition, a two disc edition. I've actually had this one out of the plastic and then popped it back in again, you know, because otherwise I'll forget where I got it from and how much I paid. And it's all in there. It's all in gorgeous condition. And that is an absolute bargain. So when I gave him my £20 and he come back with my £9 change, I said, keep the £5 note, mate. I will take that one as well. So yeah, Doorway to Darkness, really nice condition stuff. Great store, very friendly people behind the store. Can't recommend them enough. If you ever get a chance to go to their shop, please do. Apparently, it's an absolute haven of just retro games and toys. I can't wait to go there one day. I still haven't been, but what a shop it is by all means. Right, next all I went to was only a couple up from uh, from Doorway to Darkness, and I got three games off of them, and one of them I spotted. I've been after ticking off the list for a very long time, and I finally got it. I finally got the Capcom Digital Collection. They've even put a sticker on it saying mint condition. So it's another one I've, I've actually taken out of the bag and put back in again. It is exactly as advertised. It is mint condition. Flipped it over on the side. This one was £22, which is actually the same price as CEX. But they had a couple of other very interesting titles. Certainly they're very interesting to me to pick up. And the second one that I picked up off of them was Majin and the Forsaken Kingdom. And again, flipped it on the side. They wanted £12 for this. I think this one's £10 in CX. Again, I've had this out, put it back in the bag, check the condition of it. Fantastic condition. And I thought, brilliant. I nearly picked up X-Blaze, but I didn't notice that the spine of that was sun faded, so I left that behind. But the bargain, the bargain from that stall was... Killer is Dead, it's limited edition, but I think it's actually harder to get a non-limited edition of this game. Anyway, Killer is Dead, flipped you around, looked at the side, £8. And I'm, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is like a £15 game in CX. It is a £15 game in CX. So the three of these games, if you've done your maths, uh, is £42. It comes to £42. So with it being £42, I just went, take 40 for it. And of course, I went, yeah, that's fine. So I got all three of these for £42. And this one... Yeah, that's, that's an absolute bargain at only eight quid. So really pleased to have that one. So what have we got left? We've got two more games to show you from two different sellers. This one come from 2UK. 2UK had a box on the floor with some 360 scattered about in it. So I went through them all. There was an Adventure Time game, the last Adventure Time game I needed in there, but missing manual. That Adventure Time game seems to be eluding me for some reason, despite the fact it's not rare at all. But anyway, I spotted this one, got my list out again, because I wasn't sure which LEGO games I had, especially LEGO Star Wars to be specific. And I was missing... Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. It had £5 on the side. This one did have its manual in. And as per usual, every time I buy something or two, it does look at us, look after us even. And yeah, as you'll see, it had £5 on the side. It took two quid off us. That's an absolute steal, mate. Looked after us again. Thank you very much. Very highly appreciated. Very highly appreciated. Can't, can't thank you enough. And then finally, I was kind of, I thought I was done for the day. I was going around you know, having another look, a second look, a third look, maybe even a fourth look. And I had a look at one store and I was like, oh, there's a row of three sister games that I haven't had a look at. The list came out again. The list really was needed today on my phone because the Naruto games, they kind of do blend into one with the titles for me a little bit. And then there's some have the same title, but just the two or three after it. And then I spotted this one on the store. Obviously saw the spine there and I was like, it's only three quid. I'm going to pick that up if I need it. Got my list out. Naruto Shippuden Ultra. Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. That's a mouthful. Very easy to say, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it wasn't on my list. I had I had three and another one on my list. Didn't have this one on my list. Again, had a quick look at it. Manual's in there. This one went in a baggy, so I did the old disc check thing as well that I can do if they're not in a baggy. Minty disc. Absolutely yeah, beautiful disc. No problems with that. Look at that. Not been sat by game that manual, and only three quid. A real, real bargain. But what? What a really good day out I had. Honestly, it was absolutely awesome. Again, to all of the people that I met, everyone a pleasure. Just had so much fun. I cannot wait till the next market I'm going to, which I believe will be Norwich. I'm going to go to Norwich Gaming Market. I'll probably go to the next London Gaming Market as well. And we'll do an episode of whatever the number is then. Will it still be 250? We'll have passed the 1,000 game mark by then. There might be some episodes at CEXs before the gaming market. So, yeah, if you do like these uh, final videos and you've just dropped by for the very first time there is a playlist that has all episodes from the very first of the final 300 until the number changes so please do check that out if you've enjoyed this video by the way please do hit a thumbs up that is awesome youtube likes it when you do that and so do i so thank you in advance if you do do that and consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already i'd love it if you do that i love all my current subscribers already but 
anyway, what a day out once more. Please do check out every channel in the description below if any of them are new to you. Perhaps drop them a sub. As I say, everyone was a pleasant experience to meet and talk to. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. What a day out. And as always, please do take care.